Hello and welcome. So this is part of the seven week persuasion audio course, week one, day six from Mantea. Uh, if you want to sign up yourself, please go to neiltrigger.com, N-E-I-L trigger, T-R-I-G-G-E-R.com. Uh, if you're already there and this is part of the course, then forgive my little preamble. I am going to also upload this to YouTube if I haven't already. So what I'm going to be talking to, do, to you about today is the communication model. Now the communication model has already been covered uh, in a reasonable amount of depth on uh, day six of the Persuasion audio course from Mantea, but um, I'm going to be showing you in video so it hopefully makes a bit more sense for those visual learners out there and also you probably learnt about visual stuff by now anyway. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be talking to you about this stuff. Let's just draw a little guy here and what's happening to this guy he's got all of these all of this stuff inside his head and okay so just imagine that this is your head maybe without the boxes and what happens is that you get bombarded with your sight your these little ears sound then you get the smell, you get the taste in, into his mouth, although it's closed, you know, maybe we could make it open. There we go. And we've also got the touch as well. I'm not going to draw a hand, but you get the idea, touch. So what happens is that you get all of this stuff, you get loads and loads of stuff bombarding, with, bombarding you all the time. There's all of this site, you get this little thing over here, you can see all the words, you can see the pictures, you can possibly see something flashing maybe, I don't know. Um, you're looking at your computer screen, you're, you're concentrating on the light. All of this sort of stuff's bombarding your eyes all the time. And you also get sounds, and sounds probably a lot more. So maybe you can hear me clicking my fingers while I'm talking about the words, and maybe creaking on my chair as I'm moving back and forth. And maybe even the scratch of my pen as I'm, as I'm writing. Hello! Um, that sort of thing. There's loads of stuff going on all the time as, as you're concentrating. Then you get the smells. Now often you don't even pay attention to the smells, but what does your room smell like? Where are you at the moment? What does it smell like? What about taste? Can you taste your mouth? Are you drinking something? Are you eating something? Are you chewing on gum? What about touch? How does that gum feel in your mouth if you are? What about the keyboard? What about the mouse that you're probably holding right, right now, unless you're looking at it on a mobile device, in which case just concentrate on the feel of your feet. All of this stuff, there's loads of stuff going into your brain at the same time. So what your brain, you're, you're a clever little being, so what you have to do is to filter it all down. And the way that you filter it is through deletion, distortion and generalization. So you delete stuff. So the best way of making sense of some of this stuff is just to delete it. So if you're not interested in uh, the smell right now, you can delete it. In fact, I'll do that in red just to, just to show you. So what you can do is to actually just delete your stuff. So you go, OK, I'm not going to concentrate on smell. I'm not going to concentrate on touch. I'm not going to concentrate on um, taste. So I'm only concentrating on sight and sound because I want to see what he's talking about and I want to hear it as well. Fine. Then what? Well, you've still got loads of stuff going into your eyes and going into your ears. You're probably listening to, I don't know, the sound of lawnmowers outside or birds or your wife calling you for dinner. That sort of thing. I tend to ignore her, bless her. Um, so what we can do, we can, we, we can work out exactly all of this stuff in order to, in order to work out how to filter it all down. We, we've already done the deletion, so we then distort. So 